And this is why millions of dollars basically amount to nothing. <laughs> is that clickbaity enough? <laughs> hey guys, my name is Kenny and welcome back to the channel. Before we get to the main topic of this video, if you wouldn't mind just smashing that like button as well as that subscribe button, it would greatly help us for trying to make sure that we reach as many people as possible so that we could help them with their personal finance and education. Um, and any help that you could give us with likes or following our YouTube page, our Facebook page, our Instagram page would be greatly helpful. Anyways, back to the video. Whenever we hear of stories of billionaires like Warren Buffett, Bill Gates, or Elon Musk giving millions of dollars to organizations or charities or to individuals, we hardly bat an eye. It's because we all know that this is just a fraction of what they're worth. It doesn't really affect their day to day. And at the end of the day, they're probably part of a publicity stunt or to simply be more tax efficient. However, as soon as one of these billionaires decide to take time out of their day in order to help someone personally, suddenly there's news articles all about that. Why is that? That's because we know that all men are technically created equal. They are all given the same 24 hours in a day, and people as important as them, if they decide to take time out to do something personally, has more of an impact because they could be doing many other things that would make a much bigger impact if we were counting by dollar signs alone. So I'm even bringing this up in a video on a channel that focuses directly on personal finance and financial literacy. This just goes to prove that we're all given the same amount of hours in a day, 24 hours in a day, 365 days in a year that we could use for whatever we want. The only difference is these billionaires and successful people have just used their time differently than what you and I have done. Now obviously some of them had opportunities that you didn't or skill sets or experience or education, whatever it might be, it does doesn't matter. The fact is they use 24 hours that they've been given in a day to achieve whatever position they're in currently right now and we're here making and watching YouTube videos. This video isn't to knock on anyone on YouTube, obviously, because I mean, I would be knocking on myself or to people watching these videos. Because at the end of the day, the whole point of my videos is to try and educate people so that they can make better decisions in the future. What I am trying to point out, however, if everyone has a limited amount of hours in a day, that also means they have a limited amount of hours in their lifetime. And as far as that is concerned, if you're younger than Bill Gates or Warren Buffett or any of the other successful people that you look up to, you have more opportunity or hours in your life than they have left. So in that sense, you're richer than even Warren Buffett, Bill Gates, or Elon Musk. Congratulations to Elon Musk, by the way, for his baby, and I cannot say his name, so I'm just gonna copy and paste his name down here somewhere. I thought it's her. Oh, you know, because of the name, I have no idea. It's X A E something 13 something. Musk? <laughs> I don't even know if he got the Musk. <laughs> like the surname. Uh, Grimes? I don't know. It feels good to say that we're richer than these people, at least in theory, with our time. However, what does that mean in a practical and actionable sense? Well, with the time that you've been given and afforded, you have all these opportunities around you that you could be taking advantage of. Now, some of them are beneficial, some of them not so much. When we spend our time watching Tiger King when we're on quarantine, then I would put that in the category of not so very helpful. Even though you may probably learn lots about the world of big cats. However, if you decide to take the time that you have in quarantine to pick up a new skill set or to double down on something that you're wanting to do or starting a business, now we're talking about using the time you've been given in order to accomplish something greater in the future. Now, this isn't to say that you should never have fun or that you shouldn't relax because at the end of the day, you don't know when you're gonna die. Your possibilities for time to do things in your life is unknown, but you don't want to focus so extremely on your future successes that you don't enjoy the present. That said, however, I, as well as Chris and many other people, decide that it's worth to focus some of our time planning for the future in the form of investments or working on our own personal projects or starting businesses, simply because while we want to enjoy the present, we also want to be able to enjoy the future in a better situation that we're currently in. So your takeaway from this video should be, yes, you're richer than Warren Buffett, Bill Gates, Elon Musk, as far as the amount of time you have left in your life is concerned, but it all depends on how you use that time in order to further 
yourself, your goals, or how you decide to experience your life around you in the current moment. People like Elon Musk who works like 100 hour weeks probably doesn't really enjoy the present because he's too busy planning for the future and that's his prerogative. How did you know he's not enjoying it? He even had a daughter. Yeah, he may very well be enjoying it actually. <laughs> I mean, he really, really, really wants to get to Mars, so. But at the end of the day, it's up to you to decide how you want to spend your time. Just know you have a limited amount and you don't know how much time you have left. So make sure you either enjoy the time that you do have or make the most out of it. If you like what you saw in this video and you want to see more on a weekly basis, be sure that you hit that like and subscribe button down there. It really helps us greatly. We have some plans for once we hit 100 subscribers, so it would be great if you could help us get one step closer to that. It was fun making this video and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace.